All right, getting back to the uh, the Rust-Oleum vinyl cover. Now we're on the passenger side back door here. And as you can see, how I got all this taped off around there. And I also used some um, the uh, isopro alcohol because I told you I'm going to black out all the chrome and I'm doing a coat over these uh, the black pillars right here. And that piece right there, I'm gonna black out that chrome as well. Told you the chrome has gotta go. So that's what we're doing. Okay. I said we're gonna first hit it with a light coat. bit more tape right up in that part right there. The less of the stuff I gotta clean up, the better. Coat one will wait five minutes and put a second coat and a heavier coat over it. That's been five, six minutes, and it's pretty ready for the next coat. This coat here's gonna be a little bit more heavier. Okay, so took all the tape and everything off of it and uh, all the paper and that's the that's what the vinyl spray came out looking like as you can see it right there on the, the two pillars you can see the black right here this was chrome once and it's all been blacked out all down on this side it's all been blacked out see that Okay, let's walk around and check the driver's side. That's the back one. I did that one the other day. Along with the 300, which is down there as well. I blacked all that out. Now, let's look, take a look on this side over here and look at what we got. Okay, all right. So, we got all this stuff blacked out now, and it's all dry. Uh, where it was once chrome, now there's no more chrome. I think it looks a lot better. Now I'm going to have to touch this right here up, this uh, this door handle. I damaged that myself when I took off those chrome covers, so that was my bad, all right? There's some more that was blacked out right there. And let's take a look at it from a distance. From a distance, you can see how it looks and how well it looks now. I, I, li I think it looks good. I love it. I like it. I like it a whole lot better without that chrome being on it. And there's the front grill right there. You can see that. I did that one uh couple of days ago as well now the only chrome I got left to take off is just down here okay and I'm gonna replace that with uh, either I'll spray it but I'm gonna get it off because I want it to be totally dechromed okay I don't want to see any chrome on it look on this side over here okay and there we got it 
Okay. All right. So I think I think you know in my opinion I I, I like the it's the rustoleum here. Let me grab this can for you all. There it is right there. That's the rustoleum vinyl wrap. And that's in a gloss black. It's a peelable vinyl coating. And I'm telling you, this stuff is good. It, it really is. It's good. It's good. It goes on good and it goes on so smooth. It really is it's really smooth when it goes on. I think it goes on a lot better than, than the uh, plastic dip. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. I think West Oldham has got a better product. And I've got it on mine and mine has lasted for a long time. Look, the back of my truck. All of this back here. That's all Rustoleum. That bumper was once chrome. That's all Rustoleum. Overspray off because, as you can see, there are some overspray marks around over here. That was the Rustoleum overspray. I'm using this uh, Meguiar's um, wax cleaner. It's a wax cleaner. I don't have to use any rubbing compound. Wax cleaner. It's got some abrasive in it, so it'll like rub right up against it, and it'll take that off. All it takes is just a little bit, as you see. It doesn't take that much. I use an orange uh, pad with it, and the overspray is right around here. You can see it. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit, just to get that overspray off. I'm gonna take this rag here, and this stuff wipes off so easy. It really does. It's wax cleaner wipes off real easy. And you see, I got rid of that. You have to see that or not. I got some over the windows too, a little bit I can see, but I guess that's something easy to get it off with. You know, a little bit of grills, ceramic speed shine, just a couple of daps. Keep the luster to it, okay? You gotta remember something that once you when you treat a vehicle and you uh you put some kind of protectant on it, I mean you, you you have to maintain maintain it. You have to maintain it. You have to maintain it. You maintain it by you know putting stuff like this on it. Keeps that shine up. And I got some over here on this side as well. So just gonna hit a couple of sprays with that. Take this. Actually, I didn't even have to use the buffer because this uh this stuff basically took off some of the overspray. It really did. It took it off. Wow. Shot. Took off some of that overspray. Well, you can see it still a little bit right there. I'm going to use I want to thank y'all for tuning off. in to my channel, Dick TV 59 on this other new edition of my 2006 Chrysler 300 Rehab. So what I'm going to be doing next is these wheels. I got these aluminum wheels and they're kind of beat up. I'm going to restore them. I'm going to restore them and I'm going to paint them another color. I'm not going to paint them black. OK, I'm not going to paint them a wild color. They're going to be a, a kind of like a smoke grayish like color. But that's what I'm going to do. So um, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Please hit the like button, hit the support button, hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing to hit those subscribe buttons. And I'll continue to try to bring you out some more, you know, in entertaining videos because it's what I like doing. I like working on vehicles. And like I say, my uh, 2006 Chrysler 300 here. It's, it's coming it's coming around it really is coming around so 
I, I want to document the whole thing and bring it to you all. And, um, you know, tell me if you like it or not. Like I said, like, subscribe, please, you know. But thank you for tuning in. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you kindly. Bye-bye.